after our invigorating morning game drive, we return to the lodge to rest and to have lunch. Uh, here is a atrium that's in the middle. It's really quite nice. But as in all facilities, you have to do some maintenance every now and then. There's a nice um, pool and hot tub overlooking the watering hole. Notice there's also a security tower to keep an eye on the wildlife. Here's a baboon out around the pool and obviously he hasn't read the sign carefully. So he's taking a look at the pool and decides he wants to take a drink. So he does. In the afternoon, we visited the nearby Painted Dog Conservation Center. Very interesting. You are going to learn about Wange National Park, Painted Dogs. We have our rehabilitation facility, which is the hospital for painted dogs, and the siblings. Today, the puppies has been waiting for the hunters to return. You can witness the hunters are running back to the puppy cage. We the are being taught to hunt as a family. When painted dogs are hunting, they work together, they work as a team. It is difficult for one painted dog to hunt and yet a successful hunt. When the painted dogs fear and avoid people, even a small shepherd boy can discourage painted dogs from attacking livestock. Is formed here. Arrow and I spots decided to go to Livingi in Wanga National Park for a drink. At living pen here, the two brothers met an alpha female called Crescent. Crescent's met died last year. He puppies. Aru, as a leader, as a father, as he was leading the pack for hunting, Aru was caught around his neck by wire snares set by poachers. Painted dogs are native to Africa and aren't found in the wild anywhere else on earth. They live in small pockets across a handful of countries, including Zimbabwe. At the Painted Dog Conservation Center that we visited, there are about 700 painted dogs, and they work with the local populations of both humans and dogs via conservation, education, and outreach programs to help them not only survive, but to thrive. Getting in and out of these safari vehicles was quite a challenge. Here we are leaving the paved road for a dirt road in Wangi National Park. He will lift his head, then those ones will come to the shoulder. There's a bunch of elephants here we think are going to cross the road. Uh -huh. 18 hours a day feeding. Yeah, we got a baboon crossing. No elephants crossing, but baboon. Coming this way. We are not going to hurt you as long as you don't hurt us. That's a young male. Oh, there's more. Oh wow, we got one. He's he's camera shy. Oh, 
Look how many are out there. Talk and run. <clears throat> Here we are on the way back, driving through that very soft, powdery sand. Here's a crocodile we saw this morning, but he was underwater and now he's out. He's posing for us. Open his mouth. Look at those teeth. He has his mouth open to cool himself. Elephants are coming down to the watering hole. Probably about 20. The hotel set up a nice bonfire and chairs for us. And here we have a bar and appetizers to eat while we listen to one of our game drivers tell us a story. He told us about some of his experiences as a tour guide and mainly about showing Queen Elizabeth around. Yet another beautiful sunset. <laughs> 